Gentlemen, what's happening? So I'm not ready to give you a proper house tour yet, but what I am ready to show you is a room that I am so excited to have in my house. Here it is, the Alpha M Fitness Center. It uh, only has two members, myself and my wife, but on one wall, you have a mirror. It makes the space look and feel a lot more, more open and vibrant. Um, got that rack of dumbbells. These things are incredible. They're called tag. They're incredibly well made. I've loved them. Um, on this wall, I've got my hanging leg raise machine. Another mirror right there. Over here, next to the dumbbells, we've got the treadmill. This Landis treadmill, or Landis, however you pronounce it, is fantastic. Over there in the corner, we've got a TV so we can pass time a little bit if you don't want to be on your phone and watch YouTube videos. And then the infamous squat rack. Actually, it's a Smith machine. And that is something we're going to talk about here in a second. But this bad boy is incredible. It's got an auxiliary bench over here in the corner. I've got a few hundred pounds of, of weights and that's it. This room is actually a super badass bathroom. Look at that. Look at that floor. How cool is that, right? Super old. I went with sort of an old style, an old feel. This is sort of the white, white subway tile, black fixtures, um, toilet, black fixtures up here, simple mirror, pedestal sink, and it's just a cool bathroom that I love. And the floor, oh yeah, baby, rubber. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Smith machine because in that last video that I put up about me shopping for all this equipment, I got so much shit from you dudes like being like Smith machine, whatever, you're 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 a puss, right? Because I said that I like Smith machines, and so I want to talk a little bit about Smith machines and and why everybody who is all like caught up in this mentality that the only good Fitness equipment is free weights, squat rack, barbell squats, and all that good stuff. <laughs> There's such, uh, I, I don't know how to say this without, without pissing so many people off. I'm just gonna say it. Okay, so, so a lot of people were just saying, Alpha, you should have just gotten like a power rack with a barbell, you're good to go. You can do bench, you can do a lot of exercise, you can do deadlifts, you can do all that good stuff. I'm 41 years old, right? And my body, I, I've had injuries and, you know, it doesn't work the way that it used to. And in the ideal world, I would have an amazing, you know, fitness center in my gym where I'd have, you know, a squat rack and I'd have the power rack. I've had tons of free weights. But the reality is that I've got one room. This is the size of a bedroom that I've had to basically figure out what equipment is going to be best for me, my lifestyle, and the way that I like to lift. Now, I don't have a squat rack here. I don't have a leg press here. I don't have leg extensions. And so I knew that I would not be able to really do an effective leg workout here at home if I wanted to really get in and, and move some heavy weights. But at the end of the day, if I want to do things like step ups, walking lunges, I've got dumbbells, I've got something that I can do squats. Is it a free weight squat? No. Is it going to work my glutes, my quads, my hamstrings, a little bit of my core? Yes. Is it going to work all the stabilizing muscles that a regular squat with free weight, with a free weight you know, bar is going to do? No. But is this safer for me working out at home by myself? I'm going to say yes. The other thing is I needed functionality. I needed to be able to do other things. And so this is amazing doing things like shoulder press, bench press, and all sorts of exercises, right? I personally love the Smith machine because of the flexibility and the fact that you're safe. Um, or at least I feel a lot safer putting on a weight that I'm going to max, or not max, but burn out with, and I'm not gonna be able to lift, I can just click it, right? But I worry about things like that. I don't wanna lift super heavy if I know that I could potentially injure myself, or if I'm alone and I want, you know, to lift and, and get an incredible workout, I can fatigue my muscles with this. And anybody who says that you need free weights in order to get, you know, an amazing workout, you know, it's, it's part of the puzzle. It's not an all or nothing thing. And anybody who sort of says that or claims that, I think is a little bit misguided. But for me, right, the fact that I have a machine in my home that I can do cable flies. I can put this up there, I can boom, 
back and got some serious pull-ups. Like, there's tons of incredible things I can do with this. I've got a place to put, do pull-downs. I can do bicep curls. I can do seated rows. Like, I can do so much stuff with this one piece of equipment. And so, yes, it's not, you know, it's not a free weight bar. That's okay. I can go to the gym. I've still got a gym membership. This little fitness center in my home is sort of to just, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome to, to go to work all day and be like, you know what? I don't feel like spending the extra time sitting in traffic, going to the gym, coming home. I can come home, get an incredible workout. I have been killing it here. I get to sort of, I, it's just amazing. And I've loved it and it's been a dream come true. And this is the room in my new home that I am so incredibly proud of. This, this room to me means a lot more than anything else in the house just because it's sort of symbolic and I've always dreamed of having a great little workout room in my home just because I love working out. Now most people, you know, I would not necessarily recommend you, you spend money on fitness equipment for your home because unless you're going to use it, it's a complete waste of money. This room, even though it's, it's just equipment, it's not just equipment to me. It's a lot more meaningful and symbolic. Um, Honestly, in my mind, like, you know, it, you know, the whole fitness center and failing and then, you know, sort of being down and out, driving a beer car and then coming back strong and, and figuring stuff out and just continually working hard and, and being in a position where I can afford to spend, you know, a few thousand dollars on fitness equipment for my home is, is pretty awesome. Um, this makes me feel successful. You know, cars, my, like this, this makes me feel like I've made it. And, um... It's kind of awesome, <laughs> honestly, um, but, but not as awesome as you guys. Thanks for coming to the Alpha and Workout Facility. Unfortunately, memberships are closed at this time, but I still love you, and if I had or I do open one, you bet your sweet ass you're invited. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.